Just found out that BMW stands for Bavarian Motor Works. Today we are in Koblenz, more specifically we're at the Ehrenbreitstein Fortress. The first part of the Ehrenbreitstein Fortress was built in 4000 BC and each controlling ruler that had power over this area of Germany built another level on top. So I think there's four, at least four levels. It was built to defend from France. Castles and fortresses like these held lots of refugees after World, after World War II. I don't know if you can hear but there's church bells ringing in the background and there's hills all around us and the houses down in the valley. It's so cool. And there's goats. There's a pack of goats. We have entered the fortress. That's what she said! <laughs> Soft pretzels and Koblenz. Small, big, bigger, huge. This place is so expansive that we got lost for like five minutes trying to find a bathroom. I gotta say guys, this place rocks. I can finally pay off college. <laughs> now we head back over to the other side of the Rhine, back into Koblenz. Just that easy. We have a little bit of a drive, but a beautiful view on our way to dinner. One thing I didn't really know about Germany is that Harley Davidson is incredibly popular here, even more so than uh, Vespa's. Later. Finally made it back after a pretty reasonably good dinner. The restaurant was a little odd. I wish I had got some shots of the restaurant. It was, it was a little weird, but the food was good. We need to get up there. There are people on top of that building. 
and I want to get up there. 12 seconds later. We dropped Mark off on the lower level. <laughs> He's not doing too good. 54 stories, and we made it all the way up here. Oh, it's cool up here. It's nice up here. Like, cool isn't cool, and cool isn't cool. What? What do you say if I get 10 likes on this video, then I get to throw Peter off when we come back to Frankfurt? Okay. No. I'll, I'll do it five times. There we go for five. No. Okay. 10 likes and we'll throw Peter off five times. to an ice cream spot to get another German specialty, spaghetti ice. Oh yeah. It looks like spaghetti. Oh. The little camel harness. Time to say goodbye to Germany. And we're heading to breakfast so our driver can pick us up. Before I go though, I want to say thank you to Make-A-Wish. If you didn't know, this was a Make-A-Wish trip. Another big thanks to Green Line Tours. Those were the people that took us on all our day trips. It was great and fun and now we're leaving. But this isn't the end of the vlog. You're right, Past Ian. Welcome to the end of the vlog. This is my dog, Gabby, and this is my girlfriend, Emily, and she's holding a lemon, but for what reason? Well, I'm gonna tell you. We're about to do the Lemons for Leukemia Challenge. It's a relatively recent YouTube trending challenge where you raise awareness, no, for leukemia by eating a lemon. I saw the guys at Corridor Digital do this, or the Corridor Crew, or whatever they're called now. So, we're gonna give it a try. But first, I'm gonna tag some people that hopefully see this video. Casey okay, next time. So, all of you at Jada Blitz, everybody there, Adam, Justin, Justin Steph, all you guys. Tucker. Tucker. <laughs> eat a lemon. Casey Neistat, lemons for leukemia. You're not gonna watch this video, but I'm tagging it anyways. So all y'all watching, you better share this and make sure he gets to know that he needs to eat a lemon for leukemia. Last but not least, Tom, my barber. You know who you are, I know you're watching. Take a lemon and chew on it. It's for the greater good. Cannot get into that. <laughs> Take two, three, two, one. Not that bad. It's like a straight acid. Yeah. Do it. Your viewers want to see it. <laughs> you guys have fun doing it. I better see Casey Nice that next week or something like doing this thing. Ugh. For the greater good.